a common cause of problems is parameters being evaluated more than once. Let's take a look at how this can happen. Make a working copy of working.c and paste it here into our working project and open it up. And now we're going to do a little bit of coding. I'm going to start by creating a function called increment. And all this function does is increment a value. So we'll start by defining a static int. And then we're going to increment it. And we'll increment it by 5 and return it. So every time this function is called, it'll return 5 more than the last time, starting with 47. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in a print statement so that we can see what's happening. So printf increment returns percent %d, semicolon there. And so now we have a print statement. Every time increment gets called, it'll print out that it's getting called and what it's returning. Now let's define a macro. And our macro is going to be a very common one called max. And it simply returns the maximum value between two parameters. So we've got a and b. And it returns a is greater than b. It'll return a. And otherwise, it'll return b. And I'm going to go ahead and put these in parentheses because that's always a good idea to do. A in parentheses and B in parentheses. There we go. So that's our macro. And now we'll come down here and we'll use it. And this is where the fun begins. Int x equals 50. So we've got a number there. And I'm going to change this printf out. I'm going to say max of percent %d and percent %d is percent %d. So the parameters are, go ahead and put this on a separate line just for clarity, x and increment, an increment function call. And then we're going to say max of x and the increment function call. And this seems to think I've got a typo here someplace. Let's see what happens when I copy and paste it, because I want two of them in here anyway. Ah, oh, that's what it is. I'm missing a comma. Stare at these things long enough, and it usually jumps out at you. Okay, so I'm going to save this and run it, and we're going to get some interesting results here. So increment is getting called twice here before the first result, and that's what we expect because we have it once there and we have it once there. Now, function parameters actually evaluate right to left. So this one is actually getting called before this one. So the first time through, it returns a 47, which is what we expect. And so that would be this first evaluation. It would be this B here. And because 50 is greater than 47, that doesn't get called again. Instead, it returns 50. And the 50 actually gets evaluated twice, but that doesn't have any impact. And so then it calls increment again, and it says here increment returns 52, and that's the one that's getting displayed here in the printf. So the max of 50 and 52 is 50, which is not exactly correct, but it's the result we get because the first time through, that evaluation of A and B here was actually 47. It wasn't 52. And 47 is less than 50. And so the max of 50 and 47 is 50, but it's displaying 52 because it's evaluating that a second time. So if that's not confusing enough, let's look at what happens the next time through. Now, the next time through, again, it evaluates max first, and it compares X to 57. And it says, oh, 57 is greater than 50. And so it returns 62 because it goes and it evaluates increment again. So the first evaluation is here, and the second evaluation is there because this condition was satisfied, and B is the one that's being called. And so increment gets called twice, and it returns a 62. And yet, it gets evaluated even a third time for the printf, and so the printf comes out and it says max of 50 and 67 is 62, which is completely wacky. So you can see that we have this unintended consequence because increment is getting evaluated all over the place and its results are getting all mixed up. If we actually trace through it, we can see what's happening and why, but it can be really confusing and especially if your macros are any more involved than this. So function-like macros are a powerful tool, but like many powerful tools, you need to be conscious of how they work. If you're using standard C and you don't have C++ templates or inline functions available, then just proceed with care. You'll need to be conscious of how your macros are evaluated. Now let's delete our working file and run clean.